G'day folks. You know, they talk in real estate about position, position, position. Well, in boats, I like to say convenience, convenience, convenience. When it comes to boat storage, it's all about convenience in my opinion. This is the ultimate in storage. You have your luxury boat sitting here in the water in a marina. You have a car park not very far away from you so you can take all the stuff from the car and bring it down to the boat every time you're coming to visit. But standing here on the back of this boat, you have a marina berth, it's all yours, you plug into water, electricity, and you enjoy all the creature comforts from home. This is convenient boating. If the wind's blowing really strongly, you don't have to worry about going outdoors. You can spend the time inside the boat. Perhaps you're bringing your laptop down and you're doing some work. You might be entertaining some guests. You might be just having a snooze or reading a book. Marina berth storage is the ultimate. Costs aren't enormous. You can either rent a berth for a period of time, perhaps a few months, six months, or even 12 months. Or you can buy a berth outright. There's some great investment reasons on why buying a berth is a really good investment decision. Besides that, you become your own landlord and you get to keep your boat in here. For those people that don't have a marina-based in-water boat, dry rack storage offers a terrific alternative. The benefits are that you can call up in advance and the marina will forklift your boat into the water for you, leave it tied up on the dock. You can simply come on down, jump in the boat and nick off and enjoy a great time on the water. When you return, tie it up on the jetty, the marina guys will forklift your boat back into the storage and you don't have to worry about it. Convenience boating, but it really only works for a trailer style of boat. When it comes to maintenance for a dry stored boat, ask the marina guys, they'll lift the boat out of the water for you and put it on a rack. You can give it a wash down and a nice clean, tidy up and ready for next time. Alternatively, come on down here midweek and just chill out, relax and give your boat a great clean. Typically, boats that are stored in a dry storage setup are always way cleaner than all the others because you know the owners come on down and potter around. It's a bit like a man cave really. The vast majority of marinas around the country offer a dry rack storage like right behind me or inside a big locked up storage shed. Either way, a lot of people ask the question, what happens if I want to go out of my boat really early? Let's say I want to go and catch the snapper while they're biting at 4am. 4 4 it's really easy to do. Simply call up the night before, they'll put the boat in the water for you and it'll be sitting on the visitor's dock ready for your arrival. And if you return after hours, same thing applies. Just leave it tied up on the visitor's dock and they'll put it away for you the next morning. So this is hard stand storage. A nice alternative if you want to keep one of the bigger boats on land rather than being in the water. Of course, by not being in the water, you don't have to anti-foul the boat and there's certainly a lot less in-water maintenance that's required. But this offers a great alternative. Nothing like keeping it on terra firma and even putting a cover on her to protect her from the harsh sun and those rotten seagulls. So this is the alternative, a simple trailer park spot where what you rent is nothing more than the concrete that I'm standing on. It's a car parking spot, effectively that you rent on a monthly, fortnightly or even annual basis. The benefit of trailer park spot is that you can launch and retrieve your boat yourself at your own leisure. Access 24 hours a day, seven days a week. By using the marina's private boat ramps, you can launch and retrieve at your leisure. That means on that perfect day, 30 degrees plus, the sun is shining, it's a great day to go boating. You don't have to go down to the public boat ramp that seems like every other person has the same idea that you have. Launch and retrieve off a private ramp that is never crowded. Whilst the boat is here on dry land, you want to make sure she's well protected. Boats can be quite susceptible to the harsh outdoors, but by putting a cover on her and washing her on a regular basis ensures she's going to look like brand new. What we're finding is a really new and novel idea for storage is to find a self-storage complex. There's plenty of them opening up. Typically, they're opening up alongside beachside and bayside suburbs where holiday makers go. That means you can leave the boat or the caravan inside a completely secured environment. 24 hour access means that you've got a location to store her when you don't have. Now, perhaps your garage isn't big enough at home. Perhaps you're living in an apartment. Maybe you simply just don't want to have the boat at home. Self-storage is a terrific idea that is inexpensive and completely convenient. 